Welcome to the Hypothecants YouTube channel. My name is Scientist Erica. My name is Scientist Big. Today we will be making an LED flower. Some of the materials we'll, we will be using are a three volt battery, an LED attached to lead wires, electrical tape, and for the flowers we'll be using two large paper flowers and one smaller flower with a smaller hole. We'll also be using a thick milkshake straw, a glue dot, and glue stick to hold everything together. Today we will be making a circuit. So what is a circuit? A circuit is a circle of energy. It, us it usually has a source of energy, like a battery, and a part of the circuit that uses the energy from the battery, which is gonna be our LED. LED stands for light emitting diode. A light emitting diode comes in many different colors. This is caused by the amount of energy given off by the light emitting diode. So when the LED receives energy from the batteries, electrons in the LED absorb the energy. Then they release the energy, and we see this as light. All right. The more energy the electrons release, the further the electron has jumped. For example, if you jump a little bit, you make a small sound, right? But if you were to jump off a chair... It'll make a big sound. Exactly. And you release more energy. The electron that has to jump farther releases more energy. So this is shown in the colors. So high energy colors are purple, blue, and green. And lower energy colors are yellow, orange, and red. Fantastic. So let's make our circuit. So we are going to be making our flower. So we have our largest flower on the bottom, our medium-sized flower on top of that. I like to make it. Yeah, of course. And then our smallest flower on the very top. We're going to glue together. You just put a little bit of glue in the center, the next flower on top, a little bit more glue, and the smallest flower on top of that. So we're going to put our cap on our glue. We're not going to need that anymore. This is a very nice two-dimensional flower, but we are going to fluff it. I usually start from the middle and I just push each edge of the petal inwards, like this. Let me do the next one. All right, and then the last layer. And I've had some students who like to use a chopstick to curl it. They've used popsicle sticks so that they have a nice curl. And this is what the flower looks like when it's three-dimensional. Now we are going to be putting our stem and our flower together. And for that, we need something to stick it together. Glue dot! Yes, glue dot, the most amazing adhesive that I've come across. So it's a, it's a dot of glue. You just pull it away from the paper like this. You put it right near the center like this, and you just peel it off. And you put the straw directly in the middle. So I should see through the straw to the other side. And Can there we the go. All right, so our flower's all ready. So let's make our circuit. So let's look at what we have here. We have a battery that has, wait, a positive side and a negative side. And our LED with leads also has a positive lead and a negative lead. We also have a positive wire and a negative wire. So the red wire is positive and the black wire is negative. So we put the red wire on the positive side, the black wire on the negative side, and there we have a circle of energy where the battery goes to light and the light goes to the battery and it's just a circle of energy. We're just gonna put the two wires through the center there, push it through, push it through, push it through, until, boom, it comes out the back. So can you remember, I know you, which part of the battery goes to the red wire? Positive. Fantastic. Let me, let me tape it down because I want to make sure that all my wires are properly taped down. Otherwise, the circuit is broken. And a broken circuit means that the energy can no longer travel through. So, if you find that your light is flickering, you might want to just check your wires and how they're connected to your battery. Okay. All right, so tape that battery onto the straw. 
Like this. And you have a beautiful flower that's going to last for probably about five years. I've had mine for a few years already. And it doesn't require any water. You can put it in a vase with a few other flowers. Um, I usually make 12. And that is... She made a hundred of them in a side spit, right? Hundreds of them. I don't mean just a hundred. I mean something like 200. Okay. So thank you, Bennett, for being our hypothecate. All right, and for doing this hypothecate with us, and we hope that you join us next time when we make our next hypothecate.